I'm Mike. I'm Debbie. This is Gunner. And, and we're, we're Iron, Iron Horse Iron Overland. Land. It is a 2015 Toyota 4Runner SR5. We're running King 2.5 shocks in the rear that are adjustable, as well as Dobbinson 749 uh, coil springs. We're running King 2.5s in the front with 700 pound coils. Uh, underneath here, we have a 24 gallon uh, Long Range America fuel tank. Forerunners aren't known for their high MPG, and when you weigh 80, 213 pounds, we, with our trailer, we get about 11 miles to the gallon. So it allows me not to worry about gas and enjoy my drive. On the front, we're running a DeMello um, three hoop full bumper with a worn VR 12,000 winch. Front and rear ARB air lockers, run a single ARB compressor in here for my lockers with all steel braided lines, a Bantam S-Pod for our accessories. We have our Premier Power Welder from Premier Power Welders in Yucca Valley. This is probably one of the only forerunners running around that has an onboard welder. It's a high frequency DC welder that works off of a, a provided 180 amp welding alternator. I don't have to pull anything out. I, I pull my arc leads out, plug them in, turn on the truck, set it to idle, idle to a certain amount I'm welding, move it up higher and I have a 115 volt AC plug so I can run any uh, brushless power tool. Um, I, can, I could put a coffee maker on it if I wanted to. We're running Toyo uh, Open Country RTs. Love the tires. Black Rhino wheels, uh, Reno beadlocks, Asphere uh, aluminum skid plates. Front runner full length rack with a, a KC lights. Pelican BX55 boxes for our storage of parts and uh, recovery gear. I spent 10 years in the military and 25 years in law enforcement and I like redundancy. I don't like to have, you know, be out there and I need something that I don't have. 130 watt solar up here, uh, Starlink eight, uh, high performance di dish up here, Taruka uh, Bushwhacker uh, shower tent which is awesome by the way. California fabrication rock sliders. We have a brute force fabrication, double swing out uh, rear bumper. We have a uh, Dometic CFX 355 liter fridge in, in here with my homemade tilt slide that I made out of uh, hinges, works great. Boss Strong Box single drawer, uh, drawer system. ARB twin compressor back here for airing up and airing down. ARB one gallon uh, air tank. Rago panels on either side that allows me to store stuff. We have a thousand watt inverter on the other side, which runs our Starlink and a bunch of other stuff. There's so much stuff on this build, we could be here for hours. But overall, we built it to do everything we needed to do because we're out alone and we can take it anywhere we want to take it and it'll go there. Um, so we started full-timing a little over two years ago and this year we finished all 50 states, all of Baja and every province in Canada that you can physically drive to with a four-wheeled vehicle. I think one of my favorite places is last year we drove up and did uh, all of Western Canada. And I think the Northern Territory was by far of that trip my favorite. It is so diverse. You go through, I don't know how many ecosystems, everything from mountain terrain to uh, permafrost tundra. Yeah, it, that, it, was, it was beautiful. Yeah. Absolutely beautiful. I've always wanted to do the Pan American Highway. And uh, since we've already been all the way up to Alaska, we're gonna start down here. And in January, we're gonna go down through mainland Mexico to the border and then travel through Central America to Panama City. And we'll see what happens. But if we can look at it financially, we're gonna be, we'll go over to Cartagena and then down to Ushuaia, Argentina, if we can. If not, we'll come back up and uh, 
be at Expo West. You guys got to see the truck, the Forerunner that we pull it with, and this is where we live and cook and all our daily stuff. So for our solar, we have a 170 watt fourth D solar panel. Um, we've got this set up with an Anderson plug that we can either hook it to the trailer or we also have a little port that we put on the Forerunner. All right, so let me show you the trailer. This is a Patriot Camper 2020 X1H. H stands for the hard top. I've got a full kitchen sink, which is messy because it's Expo and we've not seen the trailer for very long. This is where the uh, dishes are. 63 uh, quart ARB fridge. This is uh, my kitchen and this is the control center. This is all of our electronics management. So all of our battery, we run two 100 amp lithium batteries in here. Um, all of our water, how much water I have in the 40 gallon tank, uh, everything through here, how much the solar is bringing in, uh, how much is going out. And then just all miscellaneous, my silverware as far as cooking silverware. This is our storage for tea and coffee, stove, all other little knickknacks and miscellaneous things. And I have to apologize, everything's a mess because again, Expo, so we've been super busy. This is all storage. And then this is like the equivalent of my pantry. So just all of my extra food, cooking equipment, that sort of thing, gunner's food. And then, um, so this is our awning. We run the same awning that we run on the truck. Um, it's the Overland Pros 6, uh, the Raptor 6K. Love this thing. Um, it's been pretty windy. And with the tie downs, it just, it just stays here and does its thing. And then normally the tent ends right here. This part we don't usually have on. They consider this the annex. Um, we put it on when we're someplace like an expo um, where we need a, a little more privacy, but not so much that as just things that were in the truck that are now stored in here um, for the expo. Uh, or if it's super windy, we put this on because it really helps us with the wind. And then inside, So inside, and again, this is a mess because of Expo, but um, we have like the equivalent of where your closet would be. That's where we keep our clothes. Um, another little compartment where we keep the first aid kit and our Guzzle H2O um, water filter, and then our bed. And then we have one more cool thing in the trailer. They call it the man cave, which, uh, it's mine, so not man cave on this trailer, but let me show you that. So this is the, the little front cave. It's got the swing out barbecue in it, the diesel hot water heater from Mabosco, and then our little, I still need to put the Kansas. I haven't put the rest of our stickers that we got um, in the last couple of months. So, but those are all the places that we've been. I still have to put Kansas and Pennsylvania and Maryland and New Jersey and Delaware. So we've been there, I just haven't put the stickers on. So this is it, this is what we live in. Thanks for checking it out.